from New York City. We find Michelle McCoria in the Swiss Central Bank's move and its impact to the global markets. That's absolutely right, Phil. That move by Switzerland is being felt around the world. The shock decision to drop its peg of 120 Swiss franc per euro has decimated some investors. At least two foreign currency traders have folded amid losses estimated at hundreds of millions of dollars. Now, this is one of the most dramatic central bank moves ever in a country renowned as a financial safe haven. CCTV's Owen Fairclough has more. Switzerland's decision to take the harness off the franc is causing havoc from Washington to Warsaw. Poland has $36 billion of real estate tied up in the Swiss franc. That's nearly a tenth of the East European country's economic output. The currency's soaring value is leaving some homeowners in deep trouble. The property I own is worth 250,000 zloty, and the loan I have to pay off for now has increased to 550,000 zloty. I'm not able to sell the property and pay off the debt at the same time. It's impossible unless the government intervenes in the currency exchange. Switzerland capped the value of its franc and pegged it to the euro more than three years ago. The aim was to prevent currency traders looking for a safe haven from the shaky euro inflating the value of the franc. But the euro's continued slide meant the plan became too costly and risky. Out of the blue, the Swiss central bank scrapped it on Thursday. And that sent the value of the Swiss franc shooting up against the euro and the dollar. It means if you're traveling to Switzerland from the eurozone or the US, get ready for an expensive trip. Currency traders who effectively bet on the Swiss franc continuing to drop are now facing losses estimated at hundreds of millions of dollars. British foreign exchange trader Alpari, the main sponsor of soccer club West Ham, has gone bust along with a similar New Zealand firm. But not everybody is losing out. Swiss consumers are queuing up to change their money into euros for cheap deals over the border in the eurozone. It's great news for everyone for going on holiday. It's good news, but we have to think about the consequences for the labor market and for the economy in general. One consequence is clear. The Swiss, US and European central banks are now taking uncoordinated action, moving out of step with each other and bringing volatility into the global economy at a time when growth remains fragile. Owen Fairclough, CCTV, Washington.